You don't want to miss this. Buenas tardes, good afternoon once again from the lovely island of Tenerife and we are here again this afternoon to give you a quick review on a restaurant that we visited a couple of days ago and it's situated on the front line once again in the lovely setting of Costa Rideki overlooking the seafront so again if you do pay a visit you've got a real picturesque like should we say backdrop really lovely to take some photos in there and again a real stunning environment to be in real lovely restaurant it is a relatively new restaurant for those of you who are unaware of the actual restaurant itself it has only been open i would say in the last 12 months maximum and it is our first time that we have actually paid the restaurant a visit we went to, as a family and we decided to put an ordering of garlic bread for starter. My wife went with the, again, sizzling prawns, her favorite. I decided to try and opt for something a little bit different and went with the mussels in uh, red wine and tomato sauce. And they came out, I've got to say, slight language barrier with the actual waiters and waitresses. 
they didn't bring enough of the garlic bread that we ordered as we was a little bit short in way of our starter for the full family but the starter was of a very good quality the mussels the sauce the tomato sauce and the wine and it was cooting really nice really tasty if I'm going to be picky the mussels were on the larger size as what I would expect from such a restaurant they were quite small in size but again a real nice taste about them my wife had the sizzling prawns and she immediately stated that the garlic seemed to be burnt within the actual dish itself so she was a little bit disappointed I would say that she was in favour of the actual prawn in way of its meatiness she said that was of a good quality but the actual garlic within it again unfortunately have been probably cooked for a little bit too long and therefore with that in mind caused the actual dish to burn and the flavour just wasn't as it should have been it was not on point so an 8 for that she has given us a score for my muscles I would also give it an 8.2 again they would have been around about an 8.7 but the actual muscle again wasn't of the size that I would expect being again within such an island as Tenerife and I've got to say and by the way drop me a message down below I've always been disappointed in the restaurants here on the island with the fish dishes so if you've got a recommendation of a restaurant here in Tenerife that serves quality fish preferably within the area of Las Americas and Las Cristianas then please do drop me a message down below and I will take a look at that restaurant I'll give you a review on it here on YouTube but anyway, as I say, the starter was complete. It was of a relatively good standard, but by no means exceptional. Could have been a lot better. Moving on to our mains, I decided to go with a leg of lamb. Okay. The leg of lamb is priced at €25.50. Euros 50, so not cheap by any means. And I opted to go with the fries to accompany the leg of lamb. Okay. And it came with a special sauce that I expected again to be of a good standard and I was not let down by it but this is my review on the actual dish and if you look at the video of the vlog prior to coming on now and giving you my feedback you can quite clearly see I was very disappointed with the size of the meat that was on the actual leg now those of you who are familiar or regular on the island there are a number of restaurants here on the island and I'm going to throw one out there La Fortuna's up in Las Cristianas that specialise in legs of lamb and the quality is far more refined should we say there is better substance in way of the standard of the cut of meat from the actual joint within this restaurant the cut of meat by the way was cooked to perfection the taste again was to perfection the quality 10 out of 10 but for me to give you a quick review on the actual score should I say it would be a disappointing probably 8.5 the main dish to my wife she went with a lasagna you can see it on the actual vlog the video that we put together it was extremely large in way of the size and the way that it was presented it was of a decent taste there wasn't enough meat and there wasn't enough sauce to accompany the actual dish with that in mind it made it actually quite dry but again it was very substantial in size for me it's not about the substantial quantity of food that you get is about the quality but it does have to match the actual price as well that you pay so if you do pay an awful lot of money you would expect the size of the dish to match and reflect including the quality of it the price that you pay this was a very good value it was very big in size but the quality of the ingredients within were lacking not enough tomato and there was not enough meat it was quite dry but very again substantial in size she's given that an 8.5 again accompanied by fries anyway moving on very quickly to the children's meal i've got jt at the side of me Hi. he's going to give his review in a second but i'm just going to say the children they ordered uh spaghetti bolognese so maya ordered spaghetti bolognese she's giving it a 8.9 she really enjoyed it she thought it was tasty she sat there and ate the vast majority of the dish so an 8.9 off the children's menu a solid 8.9 onto my other daughter Ali she ordered a chicken nugget dish with fries slightly posher version of the chicken nugget in way of its uh, delivery it was uh, battered with the crumb and it was quite sizable chunks of chicken she enjoyed it again her score line reflects and is akin to 
Myers, it's a solid 8.9. JT, what did you think about the pizza that you ordered? I ordered a margarita pizza. It was just any ordinary margarita pizza, really. There wasn't anything special about it, really. Okay, so it wasn't special in way of the taste sensation that you would expect from a margarita pizza. What would you give it out of 10, JT? Well, it's a hard one, really, but I think I'd give it a 7.9. 7.9. I did try the pizza, by the way, and it was just a standard margarita. A little bit better than some of the margaritas that I've had on the island. But again, not an exceptional taste sensation, as I've just put it to JT then. It was a decent pizza, decent children's portion and again the children's menu in way of the quality for me looked to have been of a good standard going back very quickly to me and my wife's meal slightly on the disappointed side i'm going to be very honest with you we're going to leave it there i'm going to give it an overall score of 8.7 so an 8.7 for a malfrin costa Rideki, and i think that's a decent score line listen this restaurant has the potential to be a very very good restaurant it just needs to pay a little bit more attention to the quality of the products that it's bringing in the chefs from what i could see are more certainly experienced in way of the preparation and what they're doing would we pay a visit here again 100 percent, because i will want to see whether it gets any better Support the restaurants here on the island as we do. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog today. Take care. We're going to go out this afternoon now and spend the day around the pool. It's a lovely day. It's a real nice breeze, as you probably can tell. The beaches at the back of us are starting to fill up. Over the weekend, by the way, it's gone a little bit quieter, but there seems to be an influx of tourists that have come in again. Yesterday, and look at the beaches this morning, we've been up to Los Cristianos. They're filling up substantially. So again, the island's getting relatively busy. If you think about coming over, don't think. Get your suitcases packed, get a plane boot, get on the plane, and get yourself here to Tenerife. Enjoy your bank holiday back at home in England, or enjoy your day wherever you are in the world. By the way, very quickly before we go, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that little bell for future notification. It costs you nothing to do so. You can come with us on our journeys for free. Once again, much as gracias. Take care, lots of love from us. Thank you.